Hello Pinkies and welcome back to another Plan With Me video and this week we're going to use our gem kit here as you can see it's foiled it's the first kit kit A is halo foiled and the second one is silver foiled and these are the matching washi that I'll be using as you can see it really matches but honestly after doing the spread I didn't even use any of those well maybe two of them out of that whole pile of like what one two three four five six seven eight washies okay so let's just start this was last week's spread if you've missed the video or want to check it out I'll have the link down below this week plan with me we're going to plan from the 16th to the 22nd of July let's get started as I've mentioned before, this is our gem weekly kit. Now this weekly kit I'm using here is a little bit different as you can see. It's actually made for the happy planner, but I'm going to just use it in my EC because you could easily just convert it. They are a little bit taller than your EC stickers. Firstly, I just do all my full boxes. I know my quotes is going to be on Thursday and also the top corner. I like to put my full boxes in a diagonal pattern like this for the left side of the page and then for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it goes up. So it's like a V shape. Once I have my full boxes down, I like to put a border underneath it just to break it off a bit from my to-dos, today's meal, so on and so forth. So right now I'm just choosing the color that will work well with the spread. I decided to use pink because it just adds a little bit of warmth towards the spread. And I'm going to go ahead with all the full boxes. And there you go. Just in case you guys don't know how I do my weekly spread, this is a scattered planning for me. Next, I'm going to do the headers, not headers, the date covers. Now, because this is a happy planner, it's supposed to fit on top of a happy planner spread, but this, I'm going to use this for my Erin Condren. So what I have to do is that I have to cut the date cover stickers so that it will fit on top there. I know the width of each column is 1.5 inches, so I'm just gonna mark down 1.5 intervals and then lightly score it with my X-Acto knife. And I just stick it on top to cover the dates. As you can see, the height of the date cover is a little bit taller than my page. At the end, I'm just gonna trim those off. Now that they're almost done, I'm just going to trim them off off camera. Now I'm back. Did you guys miss me? And now to add on the date so that I don't forget what date it is. Now back to my weekly spread. So I usually paste meal plans right underneath my full boxes. I decide to use the darker meal box stickers instead of the pink because I think if I use the pink, it will be a bit too matchy with the pink washi we have there. I also do meal plan stickers from Monday to Friday because weekends for us is takeout and that's like my day off on cooking. I also like to add a washi border just to separate the meal plan stickers from my other stickers. So I've decided to use the pink again but this one is the pink heart. The foil on these washi is actually holo silver. You can't really tell because of lighting but they are holo. The pink washi set we are using right now is from our Opera Bows and Heart collection. Next category or items or sticker that I like to put underneath my view plants are my to-dos. With my to-do section, I'm pretty picky about my list or my um, check boxes because that for Monday, for example, or Wednesday here I'm showing you, there's that bar, that blank bar space in between, and it would drive me crazy if I put a check heart flag there because it just splits my to-do list and I don't want it to split. So I'm trying to look for ombre heart check boxes that will cover that divider there. 
So I went and pulled out some of my ombre heart check boxes that I used in my July mystery kit because I find the colors very similar to this gem kit and this gem kit was actually our March mystery kit. So once I have them down just to cover up dividers, I decide to use the light purple polo silver washi just to put a smaller border underneath it. However, the more I look at it, I didn't want to introduce another washi color into the weekly spread. So I just went back to the pink one. Okay, now let's work on the borders. Blah, not borders, I mean the weekend. Here I have two purples there. One is actually from the province collection and the second one is from the bubbles. I decided to use a lighter lilac for this spread here because I feel that it won't pull away from the weekly spread so that's why I decided to go light. And as you can see for the weekend banner, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this big weekend sticker here or just do my um, flag banner because if I did do the big weekend banner, I feel that there's a lot of white space at the back and I don't like that. I like it to be a bit more covered. So by putting down my flag sticker here, I kind of like doing the flag weekend banners. So full disclosure, this is my third time doing a flag weekend banner and I don't know how people do it, but how I do it is that I spread it back and forth on each end and then we all meet in the middle and that if there's a little gap I just layer it with a thinner washi and that's how I do it. I'm not a huge fan of layering a lot of washi flags on top of each other. I like it to be spread out and they sit next to each other. As you can see here this gem kit it has three weekend stickers. Um, kit to be you have two weekend stickers so I decided to use this rectangle one for the weekend. I think it adds a little bit cleaner cut to the weekend banner. And ta-da! That's how I do my weekend banners. As you can tell the weekend banner is a little bit shorter because it is a happy planner kit. I'm just going to cover the side with a little butterfly decor that matches the weekly spread. Or it does come with, well, one sticker comes with the gem kit, but if you did purchase the mystery kit, there's more decor in the monthly kits as you can see here. And quickly we're going to put a border here. And now we're quickly going to work on our sidebar. I like to put washi borders on the pictures on top. And what I usually use for my sidebars is my Instagram post, what I'll be posting for the week. So I could list it down here. Right now, I'm just going to use a heart. Well, this one's a butterfly check flag. And then I'm going to use the light lilac washi also to separate that section. And at the bottom, I usually like to do my goals for the week or I would just do a full boxes, a decorative full boxes. And I will finish the sidebar with a matching washi set. And lastly is the bottom washi but because it's a happy planner set it doesn't have the huge bottom washi to cover up and I usually don't write notes at the bottom therefore it's more of a decorative area for me so I've decided to pull out some washi and just fill that space up with washi and because it's such a huge area I need to pull out three to four washi and you know me I love layering my washis so at first I thought three washi will work but no, my measurement was so off. Now finally for my today, today, <laughs> for my today's section, I like to fill it in with half boxes or quarter boxes. Now to finish my weekend up, I felt that that needs to be a full box is there, but it's too long because it's a happy planner kit. I'm just going to cut the bottom off, which is fine. And then the bottom block of Sunday, I like to leave that as my list for next week of things I need to do for next week or that I have not finished this week and that I know I have to do for next week.
I am also going to use up the decor sticker that I have in my monthly sheet. And before I write in it, I'm going to just go through all my icon stickers and place them in this week. Like honestly, why do you spread looks so much prettier when you don't write in it? <laughs> And it's just like two pages of stickers and washi tape. I could literally just stare at this. And it sometimes breaks my heart when I start writing it. <laughs> so I filled it in off camera because I needed it to sit. <laughs> and here we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. I do really, really love this week's theme color. The purples, the pink, the blues, the stars, the holo. Everything just really works well together. Here I am, as you can see, I'm trying to set up for an Instagram photo op. <laughs> but yes, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Happy planning. Bye.